So I have a question for you. What's your story? Hi, and welcome. My name is Christian Lamb, and I work as a social worker and therapist. I found that we all have a story to tell, and the one that's most important is the story that we tell to ourselves on the daily. Unfortunately, that story that we tell ourselves is often one of destruction and negativity rather than empowerment and edification. So in today's video, I want to share with you three strategies that I've learned on how to rewrite the story in our head so that we can find more joy and peace in the process of life. And please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss my weekly videos on building more joy and peace in your life through raising your awareness. So the first strategy I want to share with you all is we actually have to realize what our story is and is it benefiting us or not? So how can we get in our heads up here and actually see what's going on? There's a lot of practices that we can go through and discuss that would help you to see more clearly what your story is. Some things like meditation, mindfulness, journaling, things we've discussed in previous videos and things that maybe we'll talk about in more depth later on. So for now, I just want to keep this simple. And one simple way to notice when your story has become self-defeating is when you hear yourself start blaming, criticizing, judging, complaining, and playing this victim role. Oftentimes, we'll find someone to complain to about how unfair things are, how unlucky we are, how this person is this or that, when we can start seeing this clearly for ourselves, then we can take our power back by intentionally stopping this unconstructive behavior. So the second action you can take to put an end to this negative self-talk story is to take action. At some point in our life, preferably sooner than later, we have to start realizing that problems, challenges, and difficulties happen to everyone. How are we gonna handle our problems though? That is the question that we must ask if we're gonna move from being a victim to being someone who takes power and takes charge of the issues in their lives and moves towards problem solving. This can be a real challenge for sure. I know I still struggle with this at times, truth be told. It seems much easier to just blame the weather for our poor attitude or complain to a friend about how unfair a boss is. This only puts us right in that victim role though, powerless to do anything. Take back your power though, by shifting your mindset to problem solving and looking to take action. This can also take the form of preparing yourself for similar situations in the future so that you're prepared for instances like this that happen again and you know how to work through it and move through it in a constructive and intentional way. So the third strategy that I use to put an end to the negative thinking story is to practice gratitude on a daily basis. This daily gratitude practice not only helps me to focus more on the positive, but it also helps me to turn more negatives into positives. If you haven't seen my previous videos on finding the silver lining and growing through failing, I'll link to them both at the end of this video. There are many ways to practice gratitude, so make sure you choose one that's right for you. There are a couple of gratitude practices that I'd like to share with you that my clients and I have found great success with. The first one is keeping a gratitude journal where you're writing down throughout your day the things that you're grateful for. You can also use your gratitude journal when you notice yourself writing that victim story again. Practice rewriting that story to be more grateful, finding what is there for you to learn. The second gratitude practice that I've found to be very effective is watching inspirational YouTube videos. Now, not just watching the videos, but also getting involved in the community to where you're sharing comments of gratitude. Practicing gratitude daily can quickly shift your story from one of negativity and lack to one of success and inspiration. Always remember though, consistency is key. So I wanna express my gratitude for everyone that's following and subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video today, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel if you wanna to continue to see videos such as this. 
And don't forget to click the bell icon to all so that you don't miss my weekly videos on how to build your best self so that we can find more joy and peace in the process of life. Until next time guys, keep tuning into life and be well. Please tell me I turned that on. Oh, God. Oh.